Yeah, 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 yeah. Energy, 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 energy. Come and get that energy. Energy, 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 energy. Come and get that energy. Energy, 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 energy. Come and get that energy. Come and get that energy, my friend. This is the day that the Lord has made. And we shall rejoice and be glad in it, my friend. This day will be as amazing as you think it will be. This day will be as amazing as you invest for it to be. This day will be as amazing as you believe it will be, my friend. Here's the thing. The reason we got to go through this gestation stage in order to get to the prize is because you got to be battle tested that you can truly handle what you're about to get. So in other words, once you truly get to the prize, you have not only demonstrated that you can handle what it takes to, to keep that prize, but you actually created the prize, my friend. This is why thinking is so important. This is why believing is so important. And this is why when you truly believe and know who you are, nothing or nobody can stop you. See, here's the thing. Once you master yourself, right? Life has no choice but to forever bow down to you. Because if you master yourself well, my friend, that makes you authentic. And everything around you is all artificial, my friend. So once you master yourself, that means that you are that deal. You are the real deal. And artificial can't stand up to authenticity, my friend. So come out here in your genuine sense, in your true authentic self and take over this world. Own your territory influence your environment my friend you have the ability to do that right i feel so amazing my friend i hope you do too but i got a great great message for you today but first i just got a question for you right what happens i think we've all been there when you're in the house you and your family you're having a really good time but it's in the heart of winter so it's really, really cold. And inside your house, it gets even more cold. So what do you do? You go and turn up the heat, right? You turn up the thermostat to a higher degree so you can be more warm, right? So here's the thing. That's not just with controlling the temperature of the room. You also got to do the same thing when you control the temperature of your life, because this is what you gotta understand, my friend. You indeed control the temperature, right? So you can't blame nobody else because you sitting there cold and you can control it to be warm. So here's the hard thing, right? You feel bad because of you and because of your thinking, right? And how you feel is 100% your choice. See, our emotions are a choice and you got to start understanding it as such. Let me give you another example, right? See, someone else can engage in a, a irritating behavior, right? That could potentially throw your emotions off. They can, they can display a negative behavior that could potentially make you angry. And I said potentially because it's all up to you. The decision is all yours, whether or not you choose to surrender to that negative emotion. So again, the negative, the anger is there, but it's up to you whether or not you choose to surrender to it, my friend. You can't blame nobody else for your behavior. No one else can make you angry. You ultimately make the choice, right? So here's three reasons why you gotta control your emotions, my friend. Number one, this is very important, and unfortunately, many people don't get this. See, a large part of feeling good, right, is believing that you deserve to feel good. That's the biggest part of it. People wonder why I don't feel good, why this person seems so happy, or how that person can feel great every day. It's because I believe I deserve to feel great every day. I believe that every day is supposed to be energy, energy, energy. I believe that every day I'm supposed to feel greater than the last day. 
I believe that every day I got an expectation of greatness. Every day I come out with intentionality to not only be my best self, but to attract the best people, places, and things into my life. That's why. And you can do the same thing, my friend, right? And number two, right? If you were a car, if you were a car, right? Your emotions would be the thermostat and they would determine when, if, and in what condition you arrive at your destination. But isn't that the truth? Don't your emotions ultimately set the tone? You could be going to the best event, the most exciting event that you've been waiting for for years, and you get a bad call from your boyfriend or girlfriend, husband or wife prior to the event, start an argument, and you don't even enjoy this event that you've been anticipating, waiting on for years. Because your emotions took over and you made a choice to surrender to the negative. It's all on you, my friend. And number three, you got to develop a greatness mindset. A mind bold enough to believe, right? Just like I see it for all those reasons, it's the very reason why you are to control your emotions at all costs, but under no condition should you ever allow your emotions to control you my friend the time is now my friend that thing that you're waiting for it's never going to come so get up and get out here and make it happen now right stop looking at that person feeling bad about yourself stop looking at that person thinking you are less than if that's making you feel bad about yourself if that's making you feel less than then stop looking at it hmm. you control the temperature my friend and you we're born to be great.